So watching Morning Live. Now reviews say that it is the spine-chilling story about a young man who could have had it all but threw it all away because of his horrendous choices that take him to the gutter. Well, Batum Season Gossi's uh, debut novel titled I'm a Different Mess Than I Was Yesterday it up more, is a lot more than that. It's about a young a man losing his mother and sister, battling alcoholism, fatherhood and a whole lot more. At least that's how I viewed uh, the book and related to it in so many ways. Well, the author and Ukozi FM's popular afternoon drive uh, time producer, Ngozi, is here to tell us more about the book. I'm Cizi, good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Mm. Hi, hi, How are you hi, doing? I'm, I'm awesome. I'm good, thank you. Let's talk about this. I'm a different mess than I was yesterday. Brief synopsis of what you were intending to do and the message you were trying to carry across with this book. Um... I just wanted to share my, my life story about all the um, wrong choices that I made and that, that led me to, to, to the creep of addiction. Um, and I think there's so many messages um, I'm trying to convey, but I think ultimately it's the message of hope that um, as, as long as there's still life, there's still hope. Mm -hmm. yeah. But who gave you the assurance to say, you know what, Mrs., you can write this and people will relate to it, put it in a book, it will be an interesting read. Actually, there's so many times during the writing process when I doubted that um, people were going to be interested in this. Uh, yeah. Because, I mean, when you're writing, you're all, you're all on your own, you mm. know. Um, you can give uh, a few chapters to a friend, um, to a few friends. Um, maybe a few are going to say, wow. Um, but you still don't know whether that's going to yeah. be the, the response of, of the majority of people who are going to be reading it. So um, it's, I just believed that... Um, I'm, I'm telling an authentic story, and, and I, I was very honest. I've been unashamedly honest, and I thought, um, as a creative, some of my best work has, has come from that place of naked honesty, of mm. naked truth. And, and I, I was just like, I've shared my story. It's up to the universe to, to decide yeah. how, they, how, they, how they receive it. Talk to us about the different people in there. I mean, there's Matakala in there. There's Ndando in there. There's so many other people that I, ca I found myself relating to. Oh, wow. That when you... When you wrote this, this book, did you ever think, but what are they going to think? You know, am I going to burn my bridges? Do you know what I mean? Um, there's no way you can write a memoir and not upset a few people. Yeah. There, there's just no way around it. Um, when, when I really wrote damaging stuff about someone, I, I changed their names. Um, because I've worked in the TV industry, um, I, I, still, I, I still work there. There's some names I couldn't change, but um, I mean, ultimately, it's about me, not mm. about... It's just that, obviously, my life intertwined with, with other, mm. uh, other lives as well. But I was, that was one of my biggest concerns, to, to... I was not trying to out anyone. You yeah. Know? yeah. Let's talk about your relationship and your, what's your view at the moment of traditional leaders and the work that they do, given your experience with them and what you did not or what did you, you did get. Traditional yeah, healers, yeah, rather. Traditional healers. Yeah, sorry, not traditional leaders. Traditional <laughs> healers, a different thing altogether. Given your Bam Lala as well, you know, and your experience with him, you know, you went to him seeking answers and, you know, you didn't necessarily get what you were looking for. What's your view on them? I think that the unfortunate part is that you'll never go to one who's going to say, you know what, I can't sort this out. Okay. Everyone you go to, they're going to be like, okay, I can sort out your problem. Um, um, take this much. Um, I mean, pay me this much. I'll give you this. Um, so it's like gambling, really, you know. Um, that's, my, that's been my experience. It's, 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 it's gambling. Yeah. Yeah, yeah cause, you know, no one gives you the assurance. They say we're going we're gonna to do this, but... I mean, nothing happens and your man is gone, yeah. you know, yeah. What did losing your mom and your sister, how did that shape you into the Caesar that's sitting here today? Um, I did not, I did not, I did not take it, I did not handle it very well. Actually, it destroyed me mm -hmm. because me and my mom were so close that um, all I ever wanted to do was to be successful, to make her happy. So um, when she died, it's like, but there's no one to impressed there's no one to make happy because mm. she did all she could for for her children for us as and my siblings to to give us the best education we could get to give us the best we could get in, in life and so i mean you're living your life wanting to make this person happy because they've sacrificed so much and then they die like mm. so what's the point of um continuing doing work because the person that you wanted to make happy is gone so mm. 
I then drifted into all sorts of um, um, chaotic uh, preoccupations like um, drugs, alcoholism, mm. and I just lost hope, you know, like um, there was no one else. Yeah. Like uh, it, it broke me. Yeah. It broke me losing her. Let's talk about uh, being an alcoholic and being addicted to drugs. Have you then dealt with that? You know, in the book you talk about in your dress being an alcoholic, but I feel like at the end it doesn't say whether you've dealt with the condition that you have or not. Um, my relationship with um, alcohol, I've, um, uh, it's like that toxic lover mm. that you, you, you can't get enough of, but you know they're going to be the end of you. <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> um, everyone is like, <laughs> stay away from her, you know, yeah. stay away from her. And you know they, 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 they're so dangerous for you. So for, for almost four years, like, there was no contact whatsoever. Then we bumped into each other. I said, hi, yeah. hi. Um, but I've realized that we better not even be in mm. contact. So that's, that's my situation. Now I've decided I'm, I'm not even... Because I tried to, like, let me drink socially, but the previous history I have with alcoholism is it just make things a bit complicated. So I've decided not, not to even drink socially. Yeah. yeah. All right. So before I let you go, what, what are you trying to say with this book? Um, ultimately, I'm trying to say, um, regardless of your circumstances... Mm -hmm. um, you can rise above the odds and, and it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a message of hope. Um, yeah. I call myself the self-appointed ambassador of hope. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I suppose that's a good uh, ambassador to be. <laughs> oh, thank wow. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, well, Lemu. I'm a different mess than I was yesterday. I'm seizing Kosi. Uh, my favorite books at the moment. Well, I'm going to have to read it again. <laughs> well, I'm seizing Kosi. He was an author uh, this morning. His latest book, well, his debut book, novel is titled I'm a different mess than I was yesterday. All right, let's take a quick ad break. We're back after this. Stay with us.